Hey, this is Dr. Corey Glenn, and I'm going to show a little quick um, modification I did to some models in Mesh Mixer to make them easier to print. Uh, this was the case that was giving me problems. So these are two edentulous models, obviously, and very easy to print them. Just place the uh, flat base on the print bed, but the question comes up is how do you articulate these? These are not like teeth where you can just interdigitate them and print. And so it becomes necessary when you uh, have such a situation that you have models that look something more like this and that you have some supports or, or some articulating uh, pins that are going to allow this to articulate itself despite having no teeth to interdigitate. So this is what I came up with and I'll show you uh, the design that I used for that. But as you can see here, there's just a male and a female portion and that can just slide up and down. So when you print these out, even though they don't articulate, you can just drop the pins together and they should be in the right position for mounting. Uh, let me open a new case and show you how that was accomplished. So I'm going to delete this one and this one. And so here we have just the edentulous models. And what I've done is I've created some files. I'm going to go import them, append, and these are on my desktop and it's just called top and bottom. So these are the top and bottom pins and you'll see the way the design looks here. Now we've got the long uh, extension here. This is what is going to extend into the actual 3D printed model to um, connect these pins together. And if you were to look at these independently, again, you've got the male portion here and if I turn that off, we've got the female portion here. All right, so you've got to move those together, otherwise you lose their, uh, their relationship to one another. So I'm going to push Control and also select the top and bottom in my objects uh, browser, and I'm going to say Transform. So you can just hit the T, and when I do that, we get the Transform widget that comes up, and I'm going to just spin this around so that I can extend these into the model. Okay. And you don't want to waste a lot of material, so I'm going to get it in as close as I can here. Uh, that looks pretty good. And I want to make sure that uh, that looks like it might be impinging a little bit there as well as there. So do you see how this is going into the model itself? Uh, as a result, I'm going to change this orientation and bring it in on this back corner. Okay. So let's try this and see if that's any better. Good. I like that, and the models look like they're meshed well together. So I could accept that. Now I could also bring in another set import and generally you're going to want to tripod this so you'll want three sets of these now these are going to uh, be labeled with the one in parentheses beside them so I'm going to also transform it alright that will work Now, if you're going to print with supports underneath it, uh, there's no need to get this flat to the base, although I will show you maybe on this last one how you could do that. Uh, let's import one more set, append, bottom, top, and yet again, control to select both of them, T for transform, and this one we need to put on the opposite side of the models. go. Now let's suppose that you wanted to um, have this where it was uh, all the way articulated, or I shouldn't say articulated, where the bases were flat to one another. How could you do that? So let's accept this, and I'm going to come back in here on this bottom one, 
and I'm just going to actually I need to move this just a little bit more because I see that it's impinging into the cast still there maybe a hair more all right now how could I just move the bottom portion down all right here's the bottom portion and what I can do is use the select tool and I can just select a portion of this and then I can drag this down by transforming just that selected portion so nothing about the male female uh, connection here changes only this portion which I am uh, modifying right here and so you end up with the same net result you have pins everywhere and then how do you go about getting these ready for printing so all of the lower models are going to be or I'm sorry all of the bottom portions are going to be control selected and we're going to combine that with the lower cast and then the same thing with the upper combine And there you have it. Now we have two individual models and they are ready for printing. And once they come off the printer, you'll be able to articulate these. I still screwed it up. You see this, but you get the principle, orient that so that that long side is sticking in here or just plain cut that piece off so that it's uh, still inside the model. So I hope you found that helpful.